Well, hello everybody. And what are we doing at Suburban Homesteader today? I have a windowsill in my kitchen. Because down here in Arizona, I actually have a window in my kitchen. I know it's crazy. Seriously. You can see outside while you're doing the dishes. Anyway, I built a little shelf so that I could do some cuttings and rooting right there where it gets a lot of moisture because of the dishes. So what am I growing there right now? Some garlic and some tomatoes. But I had been growing for the whole month of February, citrus and garlic. So let's look at that. So here's three garlic bulbs and I put them in water so that they could root. They're just little juice glasses. And the first two really started to grow fairly quickly, about three to four days after I'd put it in with the water. The third one though, no growth whatsoever. And it did start to grow roots, but not as fast as the other ones. And so I thought, well, it just needs some more roots and then it should send up something. And as the bulbs get bigger, they spread across. Day six, still nothing in the center. And I added some citrus and a fig, and I just took cuttings off of lemons, tangelos, things like that, and put them in the water. Day eight, still nothing on that one. The roots were getting longer, and I was beginning to think it just wasn't gonna grow. And they got early morning sun, and then they were fine. But day nine, it finally sent up out of one of the cloves a plant. And the idea is to grow them on your windowsill and trim them. Now my fig started to open some leaves and it was also making nodules down on the stem that was under the water. And see here you can see where I started cutting and I would just chop that up and add it to whatever I was cooking. As the bulbs expand, I lifted them higher and higher in the little jars. The nodules kept getting bigger and bigger on the fig and some little tiny roots started to grow on the citrus. Now the early morning sun lasts about, oh, after breakfast, it's gone. It's, there's indirect light, but there's no sun that's actually going through. So the roots didn't get too hot. Now, as they really started to grow, they wanted to separate themselves from the cloves because that's what they naturally do. And then they make cloves all the way around and make their own new bulb. And that was really interesting to watch. And the roots just get, got massive in there. And I was watering really twice a day because it would, the roots would just suck up all that water. I separated them and I decided to put two separate cloves in two different jars. So you can see the root system. I have tape across the top of the glass and that's how it stays without falling in. And the rest of them, I just decided to plant in pots in which I'm actually will take back to Wyoming and plant in the ground. But there you can see the fig, the leaves are much bigger. There's lots of roots and even nodules that haven't even started to send roots out. So I'm gonna plant it. It's just a regular potting soil with vermiculite and perlite. And I just gently put the soil around that. I did press down, but not very hard because I didn't want to at all break any of the roots, but I wanted some good contact. And then I watered them well and let them drain in the sink for a while. And here it is, it's all potted up. And I'll probably leave that in there most of the summer, get it really a lot of roots, and then I'll plant it in a bigger pot. And it's a Chicago fig. Now, these are some of the citrus. I planted those up. Some of them had more roots than other ones. And that little tiny one, which is a lemon, has a huge root coming off. And I really didn't think that one was going to root itself at all. Sorry, it's not quite in focus. But there I did. I just planted everything up, watered it well, let it sit in the sink for a while so that it could really drain out. And then I took everything that I potted up today and I took it outside. I have a table on the patio. It's covered. It gets indirect light. And I just, you can see the garlic, you can see the citrus, some of my amaryllises you can see. 
and there's parsnips that I'm actually going to take back home. I was going to plant them in the ground. I just decided I'd take them back home since they're so long. Now the two garlic cloves themselves, I cut a um, toilet paper roll off so it doesn't get direct sun. And then I started doing tomatoes that I will take back to Wyoming. You don't have any room whatsoever to have a garden. Think outside the box. My little shelf is just two pieces of wood that I found from a neighbor that was throwing it out. A few screws and voila, I have a little shelf. So let's grow something today. It may be snowy and cold and windy and miserable, but what can you grow or root today? I'll see you next time.